Hi, welcome to part six of my fireworks stash 2018. Uh, this is my second video of the main stash from Chalton Fireworks this year. Um, so quite a varied selection. Got some Yorg pieces, some uh, uh, Zeus bits and, and uh, various others. Uh, I'll start off with uh, this one, obviously for the main sort of finale side of the display. Uh, this came in late last year um, and I ran out of room in with my firing and whatnot to uh, to put one of these in. Um, the the price of these varies spectacularly so shop around obviously you know where I bought these from so I'm no fool and I don't pay top wax so um, this is split obviously from Skycrafter um, which is part of the Brothers brand um, someone told me it's supposed to be like the low budget of Brothers but I have to say this is a professional piece uh, Cat 3 uh, what's the NEC there it's nearly a kilo of NEC so if you can get it for less than 50 quid um, I suppose that's a bit of a bargain really for the price I, I, but you, you'd be pushing it um, but, but shop around if you can um, so this is a beautiful firework um, it's got um, crossettes in funnily enough red ones uh, and it's got sort of a, a fan effect of crosset and also um, silver tails, um, which I think crackle as well. Um, so obviously, I mean, this would be good in like weddings and things like that because it's just a beautiful to look at, beautiful piece. Uh, I've no idea in terms of height what it's going to be like once I've fired it. I've never seen this fired before, I've only seen the videos. But obviously, the videos were good enough. Uh, for me to want this piece. I think there's a bigger version called Newton's Cradle, but it seems quite hard to come by. Um, so we'll see um, We'll see about this one, but I've certainly it's one that's, that caught my eye at the tail end of last year um, and has been incorporated in this year. Uh, for those of you who love your noise, normally you could only get these in continental Europe, but they've come over this year uh, from Classic which is probably one of the leading brands along with Celtic at the moment. Uh, Scream Rockets, so it's a whistling tail to a titanium salute, so lots of noise. Remind me a bit of the old, um, I suppose they were like bottle rockets that you used to be able to get that had the, the whistle effect, but I'm told these are much louder. Um, and as to the titanium salute, I wouldn't say they're going to be particularly massive. Um, just because of the size of the rockets. In fact, can you see the NEC here? Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. Wow, it's got an expiry date. I've never seen that on a firework, so they're good for 10 years. Um, Cat 2 rocket, obviously. So nothing spectacular apart from noise. And noise is a theme this year, so as soon as uh, I heard these were available i picked them up and i think i think there's some dumbum rockets as well that have come out at the same time so obviously check out the website and see what you can see what you can find but um i've gone for a dual a dual noise effect there rather than just the dumbum salute um effect but i know people do love them because i like the old air bombs so these should be similar but with the screech as well hence the name and the nice reference to the, to the movie screen there um so moving on again there's some some bit different sort of brands that haven't really popped up uh until this year um or certainly not not readily available there's loads of this uh, pyro show event series there's loads of different effects i uh i like purple to be honest as a color when uh, doing firework displays because you don't see enough of it so basically this is going to be a purple peony I was going to fire it on its own, but I'm in two minds of to to fire some other stuff with it, maybe underneath, just to give it a bit of uh, an accent. Because it, I don't know um, if it's going to be a decent enough effect on its own to hold people. But I'm going to take a punt possibly um, with this because it's only a peony break, and, and peonies, although colourful, aren't the most beautiful of effects in my opinion. 
daily is a better so it's a cat 2 but I'm going to use this as a cat 3 because uh, the bore size is 25 mil so the brakes should be half decent although the powder weight 370 um, you'll struggle to find um, I suppose really cheap prices for these because they're, they're not many in uh, in circulation uh, I think Zeus import them but it's a company called um, Brokhoff who are, I think are Dutch I think and for those of you who haven't seen their product before uh, I advise you to check out my extreme rhythm firework that I got it was a cat 2 compound for new year last year if you look at my new year video and skip to about two minutes in maybe um, and this the compound from broke off absolutely stunning so I've got high hopes I think they're a, a really good company um, and I hope they keep importing the stuff because they've got some very decent different effects um, I, I don't know of a, another purple peony cake so uh, there you go then what have we got here this colourful cross set but it's not by uh, Celtic uh, this came in earlier on in the year from Imperial Lotus uh, which is another emerging company that have got some really lovely effects uh, one to check out a different brand um, which you've got a, a different take on on how to do fireworks really I suppose um, I chose this one because unlike um, the Celtic one that is uh, just two colours this has got a full sort of rainbow palette of colours um, that are all crossettes so there's some yellows I think blues and purples along with the greens and the reds so a uh, kaleidoscope of colours really um, Cat 2 um, I'm not sure. Is it 20 mil ball? Um, I'm not sure whether I put this in my main display actually. I think I will. It should be able to hold its own. Um, and it'll just break up um, from the main big bangs. And then we'll have a bit of a bit of uh, peace and quiet almost in the middle of the display and some colour. Um, so if you can find the video for it, obviously it's the Imperial Lotus 24. I don't think you can find these in the UK at the moment. I think they've all been sold out. But if you come across one, um, it will, uh, from the videos, it will beat the uh, the pants off um, Bright Stars Stinger, which it, it just there's no comparison from the video. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to that. As you all know, I love my cross-sets. And then we had this last year and had to get it this year. I don't know if I'll actually fire it. I might hold it back because I'm worried that they'll stop making these um, and then I won't ever fire one ever again so I'm probably going to hold this back I don't know how to explain this but um, I suppose it's like um, like a pearl effect a single green goes up and as it goes up it makes it this really eerie whirring sound as if the the um the pearl itself is spinning which it probably is because it it will then go at a strange angle so it'll go up and then sort of almost so vertical and then horizontal um uh, but that horizontal could go pretty much anywhere really could go towards you or away from you or to the side um so a, a unique piece um and it, it really did get people's attention last year not just for the noise but for the fact obviously it's got quite an erratic sort of flight path and it's obviously part of the the big bang series um which i've only ever fired cassiopeia out of this series but from all of the videos i've seen this is the uh so this one is the nicest one uranus or uran if you're from continental europe so yeah that's yorg i've got quite a lot of yorg stuff actually this year uh i've got the hay fountain which is yorg's version of jumping jelly beans by kim bolton the duration isn't as long on hay, I must admit, uh, but the colours look stunning. It's sort of a, a jelly bean or Smarties type effect, but the colours are like a, a neon, a real vibrant neon colour um, that come out of it. Um, and I would suggest, if you can, elevate it, put it on a bird table or something, um, because it will cascade down. Um, if you've got a floor, they'll probably impact on the floor and they'll, they'll stay as bit of colour but I think best impact is to have that raised up um, I would just wish I'd bought more of these actually I might have to go back <laughs> but it's cat 2 um, 
So what's the safety distance on this now? Well, immediately eight meters. So you could probably get away at eight meters. Oh, it's not gonna have a massive spread to it, to be quite honest with you. So that will go in the first half of the display. Then we've got Turbo from Jorg, which is a bit like one of the Epic Cakes I've got, and I can't remember which one. Um, but it's one of their smaller Cat 2 cakes that's in my other video. There is one quite similar to this. But with this being Jorg and a bigger bore size, uh, I'd imagine it's probably better. Uh, similar noise as well. So it's more of a um, Roman candle type effect. Um, but clusters of like silver and reds as they go up. Uh, we're having a look at the video. Again, I've chosen this more to do with the, the noise and the different effects rather than lots of breaks. As you'd get in a normal display, I like to break it up with some lower level stuff that uh, it's just a bit different. So that's going in the main display. Um, although it says it's cat too, so you could put it a bit nearer. Uh, so I've got options there anyway. Uh, and then sticking with the noise theme, uh, two Thunder Kings. Um, because I've spent most of my money on other things, I didn't want to buy Dumbums, so I've gone for possibly a step down with Thunder King from Jorg. Um, so not very pretty, but very loud. Uh, salute type effect, firework. Uh, 18 millimeter bore, so the brakes aren't going to be massive, but at the end of the day, if you're dealing with titanium salutes, they're not going to look that big. It's more of a flash of light than anything else, mm -hmm. followed by the, the noise of the bang. Um, so two of those, they'll be fired together, probably at the, towards the end of my uh, Cat 2 uh, fused board that I will be attempting again this year. And then we're running uh, deep into time here, aren't we? And I'm not nowhere near done. Um, this will, will be the finale of the Cat 2 sort of fused board this year. Uh, I want that fan effect to finish. Uh, it's got some nice, as it suggests, again, noise. So screams from the form of uh, whistles, but a lovely fan effect uh, and some other sort of mine type Roman candle effects as well and quite rapid firing. So quite a, a punch to the finale of the of the fi uh, fused firework board. Um, so, so the NEC, so it's only 216 grams, which doesn't sound a lot, but obviously you've got whistles in here, so it doesn't need to be. Um, and they're more Roman candly, so more low level type effects. But um, if you've got a smaller garden, then and you want a fan effect, and you can you can fit it in, then uh, I would recommend this. Um, so that's the finale for that. And then this is this is a cat too, believe it or not. Uh, it's in loads of people's stashes. Diamond Princess. It's been around for ages. Staple of brothers. Um, it's a cat too, but massive, massive bursts. Um, I would not put this in a cat two display. It's going in with the cat three stuff because of the size of the brakes. If you see the video, you will know what I mean if you go and search for it. Um, and they're quite cheap as well. Shop around, you'll get some good prices. Or if you go to uh, uh, one of the independent retailers, um, they'll probably make, make you a, a deal. Uh, especially if you buy more than one. Um, so, although I've only got one this year, um, if you find these two together, it'd be pretty impressive, to be honest. So, um, something big, and then we'll leave that bad boy till last. Um, some new stuff for the, well, this one's new for this year. Zeus Fireworks Purple Parade. I went to a, a demo night um, a couple of weeks back. I posted the video on here. Uh, really impressed with the colours. Obviously, I like purple as a firework effect. So, um, I thought, why not? Let's have 175 shots of purple. Uh, and the height is fantastic on these things. Um, I would imagine, is it Zeus's higher end, if they called it the crown collection? So, um, a lovely little firework. And then, one more Roman candle here. Uh, Brazilian, again from Zeus. Not used Zeus before, but got uh, three bits from them this year. So, as the name suggests, the colours in it are sort of um, greens and golds. Uh, maybe some blue, I don't know. But definitely greens and golds. 
um, Roman candle type effect with a bit of glitter, golden glitter in there. Um, so something a bit different than your standard Roman candle that just shoots up pearls, which can be a bit samey after a while, can't it? So um, yeah, just something different. Worth having a look at the, the videos for that. And then finally, um, this is my finale for this year. Um, I've seen this fight in the flesh and well as a finale I don't think you can go wrong very rapid fire I think it's only 25 to 30 seconds duration um, so yeah it's legend from Zeus fireworks again but it's also known as wow from planet fireworks if you get an older model an older version um, I've noticed this is a 1.4G, so I hope there's not two versions. Um, because the version I saw um, was just phenomenal. Uh, rapid volley in a fan. Uh, banks of, well, it's three bursts at a time in a fan. But the bursts are huge, absolutely huge. Massive breaks, lovely variation in colours. There's, there's blues and purples and silvers. But there's pretty much a bit of everything, to be honest. Um, rapid fire, like I say, uh, fills the sky, and it's just a it's a fitting end to a display, really. Um, so yeah, strongly advise you check the video. But I've seen this in the flesh, and I know it's good. So, provided I've seen the right version, um, it's pyro mesh, so I'm not going to get it out because they they will cut my fingers to shreds. Um, I'll try and do a video before the thing gets unleashed, maybe. Um, so you can have a look at the bore size and whatnot, um, but I'm not going to be prizing that open just yet because uh, we've got a way to go yet. So and this has got to go into storage anyway because I ain't keeping this in the house. So um, that's going away, uh, and that's it. Um, will there be another video to come? There'll be other videos. Uh, whether there'll be stash videos for this year, I don't know. It depends if I go to Latif's. Um, but that's it from now. Thanks for watching.